And now the next part, it's uh, uh, the update from the European Scout region. And for this occasion, we have with us Martin. Martin, thank you for joining us, even with the time difference, um, because as we know, you are already a bit far from us. Uh, but yeah, thanks for uh, 21st century. We can, we can hear you live. So yeah, Martin, microphone is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Agnieszka. Um, yes, my name is Martin Presson, and uh, I'm the uh, vice chair of the uh, European Scout Committee. Um, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to uh, share a few words here during this gathering. I will try to be quite um, brief. But first of all, it's really great to see uh, so many friends of scouting in Europe gathered here in this virtual meeting. And, uh, also extra glad to see some familiar faces from other parts of the world, uh, America and Africa. Um, and uh, to some extent, um, it feels like um, the world is getting a bit smaller, uh, even if we can't meet uh, when we can do things like this. So um, I'm super happy that we find uh, opportunities to meet uh, also under these uh, circumstances and keep the network going. As uh, Henrik uh, said, the work done by uh, FOSTE is probably even more, imp more important than ever um, during these times as so many scout organizations are facing challenges of different kinds and um, as we know the pandemic is continuing to unravel in, in Europe with big impact on um, the uh, work that most organizations are doing. We have had to uh, adjust and adapt in uh, every way um, that we uh, can and in everything we do uh, within scouting. But um, one, one thing is very sure and that is that uh, we never stop doing scouting, which is very encouraging. From uh, the committee this year has, of course, been a lot about uh, finding ways to navigate uh, this uh, new reality and this landscape that uh, we are in and uh, finding ways of supporting our member organizations in the best way that we can through these um, challenging times that uh, we have. And we have various ways of doing so. Um, one thing that is really good is that we have seen a uh, steady stream of um, service requests coming in through the um, WUSM service platform that was launched uh, not too long ago, which is a way for us to um, see what needs uh, there are out in the um, member organizations and uh, trying to match that with our knowledge and competence and, and finding ways of um, supporting. And um, from the committee, we're also continuously having uh, various bilateral conversations with uh, all the countries around the region to understand their specific situation and um, trying to find ways of uh, supporting um, the best we can during these uh, circumstances. Another um, important uh, aspect is uh, the journey of uh, learning from uh, what is happening now and how we continuously can adapt and evolve in our ways of working. Right now, uh, actually just a couple of hours ago, we had the uh, opening ceremony of uh, this year's uh, edition of the um, uh, European Guidance Scout Academy, uh, which for the first time this year is going fully virtual. And uh, we had an opening with more than 150 participants from uh, both WUSM and WAGS around the region, uh, where we are taking the um, concept of the academy and doing it completely online. Um, and that is just one way that we have adapted how we do the work from, uh, from the region and how we continue to deliver um, things to our members. Another thing that we did earlier this year was a large survey on uh, scouting from home and um, uh, how that has been experienced by um, scouts around the, uh, the region. We created a survey that we 
translated to all the major languages in the region and um, actually received a huge number, like several thousand replies uh, to this survey. So we have a great amount of data that we uh, can use in looking into best practices and, um, and uh, gaining more knowledge about how scouting actually has adapted to, um, to this new reality. So we are, we are trying to learn as much as we can from, uh, from this. And I think a lot of what we are doing now can also be brought in um, in the future once we actually can meet again um, face to face. And of course, uh, the focus on uh, on growing scouting in uh, in Europe um, never stops, uh, even though uh, the challenges are a bit different this year than uh, we anticipated. We are still putting a lot of focus on uh, on growing the uh, movement, especially in um, the southeastern part of uh, of the region, where we have a huge. Uh, common interest to together with um, POSA to um, strengthen the, uh, the scout organizations there and uh, give them the tools and, and um, enable them to um, grow uh, even further. So that kind of work, of course, never uh, stops either. And uh, I think we are making a lot of progress and making a lot of great learnings during this year that can be useful also in the future. Thank you, Martin, so much. That was a short brief what's going on. And apparently there is a lot of going on um, in the region. But of course, we are moving forward and we are uh, the next uh, the next step, next part of this meeting uh, will be focused on a project. So a short int introduction in this topic from Bianca, who is a member of the board of uh, foundation and she's the project lady in our team. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Agnieszka, for the introduction. Uh, I'm Bianca Nesiu. I'm a board of uh, member of European Scout Foundation in charge of the project. I only will talk hope maximum a minute because actually I want to give the floor to the projects and to see uh, reports for uh, for two projects and uh, bidding for one project but just to give you a highlight of this year uh, even uh, we live this uh, sanitary crisis uh, in the FOSE project we are having a huge success uh, actually, we had this year 16 project application from seven countries that uh, looked for funding for more than 50,000 euros. Um, we already funded seven of these projects from which you will see today uh, two of them. Uh, and additionally to these uh, 16 projects, we are also have another five projects that are ongoing uh, from last year. Uh, so, uh, um, the promotion and the visibility and the communication of uh, the foundation uh, in the last uh, uh, last uh, years, I think uh, they are uh, reaching our uh, group, our local groups, and also our national scout organizations that want to do target projects, and this is a good point for us. Uh, but uh, now uh, I think we should move and give the floor to the projects. First, we will start with a medical project um, that was implemented by Polish Scouting. Mateusz, you have the floor. Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, so uh, I hope everyone can hear me well. Could I please ask her to play the video? that we prepared yes. we will put play the video and we can put it on the chat as well
So as you can see, uh, we uh, in in our region uh, in Pomeranian region in Poland, we started a project to uh, to, to aid medical uh, personnel, uh, broadly speaking, because we have decided to support the, the personnel uh, for hospitals, the personnel uh, working in nursery nursery homes, and actually everyone that needed it. Uh, and at the beginning uh, of the pandemic, we actually faced a lot of um, shortages with masks and with face shields. Uh, we decided to employ technology, as you can see, and we 3D printed uh, pieces of face shields, then uh, volunteers uh, and leaders uh, assembled them. And uh, we actually supplied around 8,000 face shields to medical workers in the region. And the project started mid-April uh, and it lasted until, uh, I think the last face shield was printed uh, around uh, the end of August this year. Uh, so it was pretty long. And well, we still think there is a, a field here to, to help and we'll see what we can do in the future. Uh, we also, uh, during this, this troubling time, we, uh, scouts, uh, helped people in need and we uh, performed simple tasks like doing grocery shopping or uh, walking the dogs or just uh, you know, taking the trash out uh, for people that were either in quarantine or couldn't uh, go out for some other reasons. Uh, overall, it was a great success and yeah, I think that's what I have to say about that. Thank you so much, Mateusz. And uh, just uh, to give you a, a brief on the financial aspects, this project uh, has a budget of 10,000 euros and we financed uh, only uh, 3,500. So uh, it was uh, a big amount that was also invested by uh, Polish Scouting. Uh, 